Hello everybody, I'm Dan Loadable, and welcome to Home, a pixelated, unique horror adventure, as you can see there on screen. Um, I saw a little bit of something on this a while ago, I think it's been on Steam, or at least uh, on PC for a while, but it's finally come to the PlayStation Store, I don't know much about it, other than it's a weird horror game, um, and I'm intrigued, pixelated horrors can be creepy, so... What do you want? Let's go, come on. Well, as you can see, this is Home. A unique horror adventure by Benjamin Rivers. Uh, we recommend you put aside an hour and a half and complete home in a single sitting. Go for it. Just a quick time check. Yes, on it. Turn up the sound, turn off the lights. I love that it has a little energy saving light bulb there. All I remembered at that point was finding myself alone. Okay. I'm gonna have a few attempts to try and find a voice here. Oh. Oh, my head. Where was I? It was so dark. There was something by my feet. A flashlight. Mm. Look at me. Look at me. I'm all pixely and cute. What's that? Mud? No, oh, that's a door. Do I stick with that voice? Why do I always make them American? I don't know. That house. Where was I? I think if I try and be English, I'm too close to possibly slipping in my voice. There was a body lying on the floor. Who was it? Can I... I didn't recognize his face. He was still kind of warm. Creepy. Can I do anything else to him? Nope. Do I have any other buttons other than X? Nope. X is the only thing I can do. Ah! Yeah, demon cat. I assume. <laughs> okay. And there's also a giant condom on a stick. I'm glad that's there. That makes me feel somewhat better. Either a ziggurat or stairs. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg? I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. I was upset. She looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs, try to find a way out. I'm going to try and make this guy less gruff. I know I'm not particularly being gruff, I just don't want to end up sounding like Seb, because that was annoying. Ooh. The shelf was full of books on local history and hunting. It seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. There were scribbles of all kinds on random notes of scraps of paper, and notes about some kind of water tower. Did he mean the one by the old train yard? Maybe. Bum -bum. Table. An old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and other liquor bottles among the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach. A black and white photo looked like the man upstairs and his wife, I guessed. There was no reason for me to keep this. Did I take it? Yes, I did. I slipped the photo into my pocket. Maybe this would help me find some answers. There's only dust on the floor now. Well, at least be a conscientious house guest. Sweep up, bro. No. The fuck is this? A thin gray mouse stuck in a trap. It looked frantic but exhausted. Did I free it? Yes, I did. Bye, Mousy. Ooh. Should I go back up a floor and investigate anything else that was there? Yeah, tools. A collection of rusty tools. These looked like they had seen a lot of use. And they were caked in damp smelling dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? Because they're damp smelling. They've just been used probably by some nutcase who hit you. This was an odd place to keep yard tools. What would they have been used for in here? Knocking out ginger chumps? Or are you wearing like a safety helmet? Ah, is that? A photo similar to the old one I picked up. It had been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Did I push the switch? Yes, I did. It depressed something. It dis <laughs> I wondered how long until I fucked up reading. It depressed smoothly into the wall. I heard a faraway click somewhere. Something must have opened somewhere. Thanks for that. 
I'm going to go back up, though, because I think there was something I didn't look out on this floor. Don't remember which way it was, though. Drippy water. It's good. Good for me. Ooh, a computer. The desk had a computer. I just said that. Huh. The desk had a computer and some papers on it. And a single drawer. I didn't want to snoop, but... Did I open the drawer? Yes, I did. Receipts. Pens. Not gonna lie, I read that as penis. And a blurry photo. Looked like a store of some kind. Why did this look so familiar? Da -da 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 -da. Blood on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh, man. I had to get out of there. This is all past tense. It just hit me in the head like a shovel with that smelling earth. Hello? Anyone? <laughs> just what I thought. The door was taped up and seemed to be stuck. By the smell, I guess it led to the kitchen. Maybe. Maybe it was a snack room. Was that a bat? A lamp? Oh, holy crap, I can move my torch! Well, fuck me. Alright. Bugs looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. Maybe I'd found a way out? I must have moved it. Right? Yeah. I heaved the box forward and it finally gave. Do you even lift, bruh? Do we want to go down there yet? Yeah, we do. There was a ladder going underground where the box was. A dank smell ra rose from the passage. <laughs> did I climb down the ladder? Yes, I did. I looked again at the photo I found in the house. The couple looked distant, like they didn't want to be in the same picture. I wondered where the wife was. My leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. Yeah, it's all pixely. Those shades are fucked up, my man. Footprints in the dirt. Looks like more than one kind, and a lot of traffic. And alien popcorn on a wall? Places all over were marked on the map of Old Town. Old map of town. The map of Old Town, oh yeah. The, <laughs> the industrial... Good lord. The industrial area near the river, various houses, and even the water tower near the old rail station. So I'm guessing that was uh, one you saw earlier. Newspaper clippings from the local paper. They were all about murders in town over the last few years. Wait. There were photos. Photos of our house. What the hell was that about? Maybe I should have looked around more. Tried to find some kind of information. Oh. I done goofed, didn't I? I should have looked around the house a bit more. A work table covered in papers, dirt, and a handgun. I hated guns. I didn't take it, did I? Yes, you did. Because I goofed on looking around, so I imagine I'll have to kill something. I tucked a small handgun into my pocket. Its weight was somehow reassuring. Despite the fact you hate guns, yeah, okay. 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 It was so dark down there. And the air smelled stale and putrid. I couldn't believe what I saw. What was this place? Butlins. My man is Butlins. Apart from the course, some kind of homemade rack slung together with poorly cut wooden rope. It was caked with old blood. Somebody didn't actually use that. Did they? Probably. Spice rack! Crudely made shelves. They looked like they were holding cans of some kind. Of corrosive. The labels were worn and slick. But I can still see the warnings. By the way, I don't know why I'm doing next voice, and I hope you all enjoy it, because it's been feckin' annoying for my throat. It looked like... a cage? Or an upturned shopping basket? It was small, but there was something coating the bottom. Something wet. Yeah. Let's go the other way before I go down any more ladders. Torch power! Yeah. Why wouldn't there be a desk? The desk looked old and was caked with grime. Because everywhere else is so clean, what does that surprise you? On it was a stack of old faded paper, covered with what looked like names. They were scratched out and the legible notes were written beside them in a faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. None of it made any sense to me. No. Why would it? 
Skeleton? By or it looked to be bones half dug into the ground and the remains looked old. The faded clothes stuck among the, up amongst the dirt looked familiar. They looked like the clothes that the woman was wearing in the photo I found. Was this the man's wife? Probably. Sorry, is that odds with the theme? I do apologize. I was very tonally... Beret I don't know. More boxes. Good. Solid snake you in there. Some kind of old boxes. They looked like they were years old. Wait a minute. These boxes had old clothes in them. Clothes I remember throwing out after Rachel and I moved to town. What the hell were they doing there? And what is that? Is that a loaf of bread? What's that? The thing. What is it? Dancing. Where's that cat gone? And are there bats, ping pong table, or laser guns? Uh, bats. Off you go. I'm Batman. That'll be it. Maybe. Probably not. I remember noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. When did I go all bust in there for a minute? Yeah, I remember the broken ladder. Yeah. I don't remember if I jumped down there or found another way. It looked to be a long way. Did I jump down? No. Maybe there was some other way to get down there without risking any more injury to my leg. Hopefully. Let's find out. Yeah, it's a skeleton. I can see him. There was a rope hanging there. I wasn't sure how sturdy it was. Did I take it? Yep. Maybe the rope would make that broken ladder easier to descend. Probably not. I hope to Christ that came out on a record, because I just heard whispering. Oh, sweet shit, the wall's up behind it. I had the rope now. There must have been a use for it around somewhere. Why can I just look and... Why? Why would I even need to look at the hook again? Down we go. The rope I found would have let me climb down the broken ladder safely. Did I climb down? Yep. I could hear a faint hum, and the smell from before started to get worse. Also, the vibration in my controller went apeshit, so... <laughs> you're not the only one with problems here, fella. How long until there's some horrendous jump scare or some shit? Bunch of old newspapers, wheat pasted together. What's wheat pasted me? Oh, I'm probably just being ignorant. Huh? A message had been hastily smeared on it. Keep out, danger due to cave in. Cave in what? Oh, I see. Now I've played a fair amount of pixelated horror games. I mean, I have another one. I'm. This room seems fairly pointless. Um. Another one I'm planning to do. It's called Lone Survivor. It's awesome. To be continued. I could still feel a faint impression of the rope I had slid down as I pressed against the heavy metal door. It was probably for the best that I hadn't jumped. The ache in my leg was bad enough as it was. If I could have, though, I would have run straight out of those or those awful tunnels. Who would keep such a place? But then, at least I thought I had found that old handgun. It seemed to work, and from the smell of it, it had been used already. Okay, you hate guns. You found it reassuring, you like it, and you know what a used gun smells like. Okay. I kept the gun in my pocket. It seemed a familiar weight there. Yeah, well, there we go. Dripping vent. Why wouldn't that be good? Yes, lone survivor. An exposed ventilation shaft. Maybe someone crawled through there. But it was so high up. That must have been a sore landing. Do you mean like one that would, uh... One that would hurt your leg, maybe? Just, Just a thought. Lone Survivor is kind of like a 2D s Silent Hill, and I really like it. And sometimes, pixelated horror games can be much freakier than full, you know, sort of 3D games, because graphically they have less to use, so they have to build on ambience and atmosphere and sound and storyline. It can, it can always be uh, counted on that a pixelated horror game will pretty much give you the creeps at some point. There were stairs on the ground. It looked wet, and there was grass smeared within it. Okay. Handy arrow there. 
I'm going to use the door. Oh. <laughs> I could hear a faint trickling sound, like water. What was that? Water, it's um, H2O, my man. It's good for you. What's this? A kitchen knife, covered in drying blood. Thinking about it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch it. Did I take the knife? Yes, let's get tooled up. I slipped the knife in my boot, <laughs> since I had the gun in my pocket. Did I really need all this? Fucking right you do. If you get a rusty pipe and a sledgehammer, you're having that and all, my man. And go get that rope and lash it to your back. There was a rusty ladder sunk into the water, which smelt disgusting. I knew I couldn't climb down that. Maybe I could find a way to drain the putrid water. Okay. Awfully nice of you to suggest things. Let's go and see. Can I read that? Is that a thing I can read? Nope. Ah! Okay. I've got a torch. Best fuck off. The door was locked. There is a musty smell from inside. Off and away in buttons, I find. I wasn't sure, but I thought it was some kind of regulator. <laughs> I had no idea how it worked. No, well... I thought I could turn his water valve to shut off his flow. Did I turn it? You bet your sweet bippy you did. Oh, another valve. Oh, don't tell me there's a puzzle. I'm stupid. Uh, why not? Let's do them all. Three and four. Or thirty-four. Uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna do it all until I find any sort of clue on how to do anything more accurately. But dead end. There's bound to be some sort of uh, clue telling me which ones to turn to. Uh, I'm in the wrong place entirely. To activate the water. Is that through the other room? It's through the exit door, isn't it? I did not do anything. Although I do get the horrible feeling that up is where that noise came from. What's this? Disgusting. It was a mess of filthy garbage bags. There were rips and tears in most of the bags. What looked like an old videotape was sticking out. Did I take the tape? You bet your ass. I wasn't sure what I hoped to discover with the tape, but I took it anyway. Guaranteed, with how this game seems to be shaping up, it's going to be the one from the ring, and some little bitch is going to be popping up in a minute, just screaming at you, going, Arr! Uh, similar dirt on my shoes. Yes, I know. I'm really regretting doing the American voice now. I always do a frickin' American voice on these things. Actually, saying that, I either do American voice like Seb and just make it gruffer. Or if I had to read anything by anyone particularly evil. Or sinister sounding. Ooh. Yeah, boy. I uh, do a sort of very posh and sinister British accent all of the time. Transcend myself uh, as condescending and unpleasant as humanly possible. Through the dust, I could see handprints from the previous use. Probably from whoever worked in these sewers. Can I dump my tape in it? Don't know why that would be a thing. Uh, yeah, get on with it. <laughs> it looked like I turned off the water flow in this valve. What? Did I turn it again? Yes. Oh, so I just have to keep going? Oh man, I'm just being thick then, aren't I? Oh, frick a frack. Okay. Yay! Let's go further down. Looked like the water drained out of that grate in the wall. Hmm. There was a small metal key left floating in the shallow pool of rancid water. Did I take it? I pocketed the small key, but it was so odd-shaped I had no idea what it might open. A, a lock, in in general? Probably that door topside, so let's go back and have a look. What's happening? Oh. Bugger. If anyone wants to play a really good pixelated horror game, go on... Oh goodness, I think it's either IndieDB or Game Jolt, and look for anything by a guy called Script Welder. Script Welder, even. Sorry, I can't speak. The safety poster had definitely seen better days. How old was that facility? Yeah, look at anything Script World has done. He's done, uh, or he, she, I don't know, a three-part really good horror game called, um, 
Darkest Dreams or something about sleep. I can't quite remember. It's really good. Uh, and there's a there's another one where you basically have to set about the right uh, load of actions to stop yourself breaking out of a cabin and murdering people when you turn into a werewolf. It's quite cool because you play as the bad guy. Hello. There was a security camera in the room. There must have been a way to see what happened. Maybe the VHS tape I found could be useful. Really? Uh, that's uh, nice. What's that? Jellyfish. LED. Found another dead body. A sewer worker. By the wounds all over its face and body, I figured he'd been stabbed repeatedly. There was a keyring sticking out of the man's pocket. Did I take it? Yep. I thought about the knife I'd found with some disgust as I carefully picked the keys from his pocket. I was almost worried he was going to grab me. If you... If that happens, you're going to shank that motherfucker. So, are there keys on that keyring, or is it just an unhelpful keyring? If it's just like a Hello Kitty thing or something, that's going to be annoying. Oh, good. Does that mean I can get through the other one, though? Um, there was a dusty VCR on the security desk. I wondered what was on the VHS tape I found. Did I play the tape? Well, I didn't pick it up for nothing. Oh, no. The video showed a man right there in the sewers being attacked. The tape looked fuzzy and stretched, like somebody had tampered with it. It looked like there could have been two men. Let's go see if I can get into that other room now. Because I feel I've not been exploring properly. And heaven forfend anybody say I do these things half assed I tried a bunch of the keys on the keyring I had found on that sewer worker, and one of them seemed to fit. Good. I hear crackly hacking. A collection of stale liquor bottles covered the floor. The wall was littered with dozens of old faded papers. Whoever did this was obsessed with some local murders. According to some of the clippings, bodies had been found in the ravines, in the forest, and in one case, dumped in the back of an abandoned truck. I couldn't be sure, but I thought some of these ar same articles had also been pasted up back in those tunnels. The self release says, Killer. A faded receipt was, on, was half trampled on the floor. It was from one... Uh, Sorry, for some reason I'm tripping over my tongue ridiculously. Ugh. It was from the local train station, and was for two tickets. I didn't know what use it could be, but did I keep the receipt? Eh, why not? I don't have an inventory sort of managing thing, so I may as well. I neatly folded the soiled receipt and slipped it into my front pocket. Do I have, like, a limited amount of pocket spaces that I will discover eventually that I've just been hoarding tat? It can do me no good. Ah! Well, fuck you. <laughs> oh, if home is where the heart is, mine is about three feet from the room where I just kind of casplatted it. Would I need that gun or that knife before the end? Both weighed me down and aggravated my leg as I climbed that old ladder. The thought of that videotape still gave me chills. Who was it that didn't want to be seen? Was it the same person that hid all those clippings away in that locked room? Suddenly the awful smell of that sewer gave way to a pine-scented blast of fresh air. <gasps> that burned something in that tree. Right there. That, there it is. You, you fucker. I see you. And someone's going to find me. I'm going to turn out to have had nothing to do with it or something, but I'm now carrying a bloody fucking knife. And a gun. Eh. An old ladder leading up to the ancient, an ancient water tower. The ladder needed to be extended so I could climb it. Did I extend the ladder? Yes, I did. I popped the latch and brought the ladder down. Anything over here for... An arrow. So, maybe... Keep wondering. Oh, so many doors. I tried the little key I had fished out of the murky puddle in the sewers. It fit, and I heaved you open the rusty door. The wind was picking up a bit. The night ha air had become strangely chilly. Had it. Whee! A tiny bit of rubbish or a leaf go. Floating by. Where am I now? Let's see. Is this a train station? Ooh. 
The old train station was quiet as a tomb. The only sound was that of the increased wind buffeting the decrepit structure. And all the dripping, maybe? Because everything is dripping. I'm just going to put that out there. It's like, I can't feel like I can do much in a way of commentary because I'm having to read so much exposition. Hello. An old map encasing glass hung on the wall. It was the train routes connected to that old station. As I looked at it, it seemed familiar. Of course! The map I found in those tunnels had similar locations marked. And the other notes I found on, on the other man's bookshelf. Sorry if that was a crackling there, I just... Uh, so I snagged the wire of my headset and nearly pulled the frickin' thing off. That wasn't nice. I just realized my uh, control was glowing like mad. His notes mentioned the water tower and even his train yard. What was he doing? Coming back here. I don't know. Maybe we won't ever find out. Or maybe we will. And it will be unsatisfactory. Seems to be how these things go. Cheerful. The old train was ripped open and hanging from a shred of metal. As well as the broken fence was a dark stained patch of cloth. It looked synthetic, like some kind of outerwear. Inside the drained shell, I could see a few faint impacts like wounds. Could they have been bullet marks? Was somebody shot out there? The ground was well worn. No, I couldn't really make anything out. I realized I was touching the gun I found, as if I thought. Uh, I, I didn't read that right. Uh. I realized I was touching a gun, I found the, the gun. <laughs> Words! Oh, goodness. I was trying to do this voice. I'm trying to understand what's going on. All these different things. Mentally taxing, especially as I'm stupid. No, yeah, I'm not saying, set aside like an hour and a half. They weren't kidding. I've got tickets. An old ticket booth that looked fairly ruined. <laughs> fairly ruined? Can it be fairly ruined? It's either ruined or it's just a bit fucked. I don't know. Inside the ticket window were sheets of paper and... Wait. What were these? Train receipts? I thought the receipt I had picked up might match these. But of course not. The station had been closed for years. The ticket must have been for the newer station that opened up on the other side of town. After this one was abandoned. However, I noticed a series of fresher looking paper covered in tiny notes, scribbles, and diagrams. I just got a uh, trophy called Escape Route. I don't really know why. Ladder. Yeah. What's this? This must have been the entrance to the forest that was mentioned on that map I had seen. Whoever was poking around in those tunnels underneath that man's house had scribbled notes on this place, but I couldn't make them out. Here, the sign pointed out various campsites in the walking paths within the woods. Within the woods. Ugh. It mentioned a river, and maybe a washroom, but the rest was too faded to see clearly. Ah, okay. Why on God's green would you go cramming around in there, you douche? Oh, no. No, not some sort of... Through the fence, I could see a dilapidated outbuilding. I wondered if I could find a way around. Probably through here. Master Hedro. Um, hello. There was a fire pit there. It was still a bit warm, and a few embers still burned at the bottom. Was someone else out in those woods? Why did they abandon their campsite? Because you marauding around with guns and knives, you fucking dildo. Cheap dome tent slept two people. I shone my flashlight inside and could see some bedrolls, two backpacks, and a cooler. Good for you. I felt like if I kept rooting through the campsite, someone would walk in on me. That's your problem? That's your problem. Oh, good. More holes. Ah, oh, fuck. What one did I come through? Uh, this one. No, this isn't the one I came through, is it? Something scrabbling around out here. What's that? There were some personal effects shoved back into the rock. Wait. There was a notebook there, too. Did I read it? Unfortunately, yes, I think I did. Inside the cheap dollar store notebook was page after worn page of names and lists. 
None of it made much sense. The newest page contained several names. If one of them's Malcolm Merlin, I know whose book this is. Blah, 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 not reading all them. Rachel. Her name was the last on that list, and had a mark beside it in blue ink. The names Daphne and Olivia had been crossed out in the same blue ink. Cheryl, Heather, and Rose had also been crossed out, but these marks looked older and more faded. Did they now? I wonder what they could possibly be alluding to. I think this one I haven't been through. I am right on the money there. Nothing that way. I'm trying to tell that orange bit under my face. Is that like a collar or a really weird beard? What the? Oh, the house. The bill. Oh. No, 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 no. Don't look. No, no. I'll do what I damn well please. I'm Gingerhead McBeard Chest. The grimy sink had a small patch in it that almost looked almost clean. Okay. Ah, oh, no. No, nothing bad, no, nothing good ever happens in these types of... A musty wooden plank propped up the stall door. It didn't really seem useful. Did I bother to take it? You seem like the world's most cynical and just lackluster fucking survivalist. <laughs> Those berries could maybe save my life, but I don't really know. I don't like fruit. Do I take them? I wasn't sure why, but I took the plank. The washroom stall was filthy and disgusting. I wanted to get away as quickly as possible. Okay, fine. We'll do what you want to do. We always do what you want to do, don't we? Wait, wait, wait a minute. I don't remember... Eh? 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 Oh, no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Wait, hang on. I want to go up that ladder before I go anywhere. I am in the wrong bit of the woods. In the wrong woods. Jump cut to that ladder. How is your jump cut? Is it comfortable? I hope so. Fucking eyes in the background. Give me the willies. Ah! ah get back. A small cone of light will fuck you up. Uh, blood, blood streaks. Wolverine. In a patch of smeared dirt and grass, there was a beat-up old wallet. I thought it was mine. Did I take it? I slid the filthy wallet into my back pocket. I noticed it didn't contain any kind of gun permit. We said you hate guns. Eh. In fact, it didn't contain any cards of or ID of any kind. I thought I should recover my credit card and driver's license at least. Eh, maybe. From the railing, I could see over the woods and down to the entrance of the sewers. Had I come through there before? If I did, somebody, de someone definitely could have seen me. Wait a minute, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. The side of that looks busted open. Okay, apparently I can't interact with that because reasons, I suppose. Back to the exit of the forest. Okay, on my way back, I found something on the floor here. Plastic card of some kind. Um, okay. All right. Um, why did my card suddenly just fucking appear? Let's go. <sighs> to more reading, to literacy and beyond. Through the dense trees, I could finally start to see some light. I must have been at the edge of the forest. Oh, I wasn't sure where the path ahead of me led. I could almost feel the cryptic notebook in my pocket as I tried to think about what it could mean. And where were the campers who would abandon their sight? Call of Duty, mate. Would I meet them too? Through the path ahead of me was less dense. Although, even, Dan, different words. That's how language works. I still felt guarded and wary. Who knew what was ahead? Game developer. I don't remember his name. Disco light. A lot of identical doors with post-it notes. As I stepped 
stepped through the gate, I suddenly recognized the auto parts factory where I had worked as a machinist for all those years. The planet closed almost three years ago now. Times were better then. I thought... There's some words I just cannot say properly in an accent. Heh. Good job I didn't do something like a Scottish accent. That would have been embarrassing, because this wasn't. I thought I could hear a faint rustling behind me. Maybe it was just the wind. Probably not. Ah, hello, gigantic fence hole. Uh, factory. Hello. Um. Whatever that was. Uh. Could you calm down? Uh, tell you what, let's play a game of fuck off. You go first. The door was locked shut. There was a little electronic box under the handle. A sign was pasted to the front that said, Danger, closed for repairs. Apparently written by Duke Nukem. There was a large power box with five lights on it. Cables burst out of the box, snaking off to other parts of the factory. Of course it does. The metal was starting to wear, and the cobwebs had collected on the corners. The box wasn't receiving power. Why would it be? Why would that be a thing that happens? Good. The board contained yellowed clippings and newspaper cartoons and notices. There were notes to and from the guys that worked here. One of them was to Norman, who was one of the older guys on the line. Do you not want to read it? I want to know what Norman was up to. Moving to a bar in Seattle or Chicago, I don't know. When was chair set? Hmm. A power panel. Looked like it was shut off. Did I push the switch? Yes. Photo of a woman taped to the inside. Now. Okay. I have a problem here. Is that a photo taped to the inside of the locker of a woman? Or. Or. Is there a photo of a woman taped to the inside of that locker? I am unclear on this. It's probably going to be Rachel. Well, someone here is a murderer. Yes. Yes, I did. Hi. That was a fun noise. Wheels and doors, bro. I'm starting to wonder what was through that hole in the fence. This was Norman's locker. The door was dented like someone had punched it. I don't remember him doing that when we worked here. Yes. Yes. Yes! Okay. Utility shelf crammed with mismatched tools and items. There was a claw hammer. <laughs> yes, I will take the claw hammer. Uh, I noticed it wasn't as dusty as the rest of the tools on a shelf. Well, that was used to bust open Norman's locker, I assume. Uh, hidden at the bottom, though, was a magnetic card. Did I take the card? I did. Good. Can you tell I'm getting annoyed with the voice? I should have picked something else. Really, I'm intrigued. I wonder what's going on. Is it your standard horror amp? Uh, a standard amnesiac horror story? Okay. All right. I like that when I said OK, the little prompt came up for me to use voice commands. That was fun. This was my locker. There in the factory. A stank of booze. There was a picture of Rachel inside. It, it looked like it had been torn up. I thought I had taken that picture home when the factory closed. The floor was littered with old liquor bottles. I wondered if that man in the house had something to do with this. He sure had a lot of alcohol at his place. Didn't he? Shut up, ambient sounds. A rusted old regulator of some kind sat dusty and unused against the wall. Horrible clinking things occurred. Giant bottles of spiky shit. Nope. Plank stools and broken up parts blocked any further passage. Do not want that stuff blocking up your further passage. Another smudge of dirt similar to the one I found in those sewers was on the floor. Hello? 
Um. Um. Uh, <laughs> um. Big motherfucking um with bells on. <gasps> what are you doing? Why are you doing this to me, game? I'm enjoying you. I'm being nice. A rack of flashlights hung on the wall. One of them was missing. It was in my stupid pixelated hand. God, I was a dumbass. I just couldn't see it then. My head pounded as I stepped back outside, once again enveloped in the scent of pine trees and muck. The path beyond was terribly dark, and I was grateful that my flashlight was still working. I wondered, though, was it taken from the plant? It sure seemed to be. Eh, <laughs> it sure seemed to. But how did I get hold of it? I had little choice but to follow the path, and hope that it got me back to town. I wondered. Norman had the, this store along the main road. Was he close? If he was, I could certainly use some help. Shit, should I go back through that hole in the fence? I'm gonna go back through that hole in the fence. Ah, you son of a bitch game. Mm. What the fuck is this, a giant cat? Oh, it's a truck. A pickup had smashed into the guardrail and stood silent. Was this the truck? The, uh, was this the truck that those newspaper clippings mentioned? Was there really a body found here too? Probably. What do I found now? A dumpster. Good. The garbage bin was a disgusting mess of rotten food and slick black bags. I saw a thin, greenish corner poking out from one of those bags. It was my driver's license. It looked damaged. Did I take it back? Yes, because right now I really want to go to a liquor store. I cleaned the card off as best I could. It looked pretty beat up. I was amazed to have found my credit card and now this. I tucked the card into my wallet next to my credit card. Good for me. It sounded like it was going to start raining again. Also sounded like the vibration on my controller went apeshit. I had entered Norman's place. You dirty fucker. This was the back of the store that he ran. It was oddly quiet except for the faint sound of a television. Okay, why wouldn't it be? Because horror! Hello? Okay, sound is used really quite well in this. Incredibly well, I'd say. What the hell? One of Rachel's old autumn coats hung on a rack. That was Norman's bedroom, wasn't it? What was this doing there? I'm gonna guess by the use of a uh, rubbish bin, muck, an autumn coat. This is actually not an American game. Inside the cabinet was a small but impressive collection of hunting rifles, shotguns, and even a few items I didn't think were illegal here. One of the shots on... <laughs> One of the shots, yes. One little slice on a rack was empty. The gun I had found seemed to match the others there. If the handgun was Norman's, what the hell was he doing with it? The gun would fit there. Did I place it back in the cabinet? Uh... I'd like to say no, because I might need to defend myself. But part of me says yes. Because it was probably used for murder and I don't really want to be holding it. I carefully placed it, pushed the piece back in place and felt a great burden lifted. I just got a trophy called a close call, so I assume I did the right thing. I don't know. I hope that fucking fern doesn't come after me. Uh oh. More blood. Or mud. Or jam. What's that? What's this? Looks like a pull chain hanging from the ceiling. I wondered where it led. Did I pull the chain? Yes, to the attic of doom! Like reverse Fritzel. What's this? The TV still flickered some indecipherable channel. QVC? Good. Ah! Oh no. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Norman, my co-worker. Or cow-worker, as I wanted to say just then. 
and one of the few friends I had in this town lay dead beside his armchair. His face and shirt were covered in blood. It looked like he'd been shot, trying to get up. His eyes were wide with shock, though they were already drying. Norman, what was Rachel doing here? Why did you have her coat? Norman, maybe you deserve better. You probably did. Did I close his eyes? Well, fuck it, your prints are already on everything else. Why not? Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, good, another door. I guess this was Norman's kitchen table. He kept it clean enough, but there were water rings from two cups still there in the wood. I'd never been to Norman's place before. At least, I didn't remember ever doing so. The kitchen trash bin smelled fresh. I didn't dig through that mess, did I? Yeah, you did. I found a hairpin amongst the rotting food and trash and pocketed it. Because I'll be able to pick things with it. Because video game! Let's go do some more video game. Da 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 da! Sorry, I had to do that. Mm hmm. Another TV. Decadent. I'm glad I went here. It was a large cardboard box that hadn't been sealed. Did I open it? There's nothing else to do. <laughs> okay, um... Is that meant to have the repeated and there? I opened up the old cardboard box and and wasn't not really surprised by what I saw. There were more of Rachel's things? More of my wife's clothes? Photos, shoes, even that old radio I gave her. Why, Rachel? What were you doing here with Norman? Am I Norman? No, Norman was dead on the floor. A dumb question. There's a creeper on the wall next to me there. My theory is thus. Yep, I was right. Don't need to explain my theory then. Postcards. Good, postcards. I can send for help. I never went there much. Rachel usually stopped by after work if we needed anything. I bet she did. So there were sausage too. The register was mostly empty, and a fat stack of travel magazines sat beside it. Flavor text, everybody. Drink it in. How does it taste? The icebox seemed to be unplugged. It must have been off for a while. Most of its contents were half melted. You can drink the ice cream. Peas are chewier. <laughs> what? Um, there were various postcards in, from the area, especially from the tourist traps. One of the postcards showed an old... Why did I say postcards? Postcards? Moving around, I'm in 1920s New York. One of the postcards showed an old black and white photo of the water tower. It looked to be in much better shape then. Wait a minute. Did I say I found an old black and white photo of the water tower earlier? Are we saying it wasn't a, uh, postcard? Yes, Norman's dead. We know. Ugh. Ugh. Has everyone read that? My throat hurts. You got two more. I lied. Uh, I felt like I had only discovered more questions, no answers. But I was close to home. It was time to find out the truth. That cat at the beginning did it. It was like, this wasn't the right gate. Another TV. Not my house. How am I meant to know what was my house? I bet it's going to be covered in blood. Or is this one? Or not. I live really close to everything else, don't I? The neighborhood's local post box. A letter was sticking out as if someone hadn't pushed it all the way in. I knew it wasn't right, but did I look at the letter? Federal offense, my man, but go for it. The envelope was addressed to Norman. There was no return address, but the handwriting looked familiar. I took a deep breath and tore open the package. Norman, I'm sending this to you in a letter because I'm afraid to tell you this in person. What we did, well, it was wrong. My husband isn't an easy man to be with, but he is my husband and your friend. I need some time to sort this out, away from you both. I'm going away for a while. I'm going to tell him. Norman, 
So you don't think you can hold that against me? Maybe we'll work it out. I'm not sure I even want to. But he deserves at least that much. Goodbye. Ugh. Wrong gate. Oh. I had the wrong gate again. Fucking derp. Oh, hang on. There's like blood on the wall next to him. Yes, I was right then. <laughs> the rain gave me a terrible sense of foreboding. And it chilled me through my clothes. I was expectant, but also afraid. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's an interesting feature for a gate. Okay. And what was that? A squirrel? Exploded everywhere? I held my breath as I approached my R back door. I was terrified to step inside. I would be too, my man. The house was painfully quiet. The only sound was my own breathing, ragged and strained. I flicked the light switch by the door. The power was off. The door to the basement was, was locked. Where did I put the damn key? There was a small pile of mail on the floor, in front of the mail slot. How long had I been away? Why hadn't Rachel picked this up? Most of the contents were bills. There was a credit card bill there. Did I open it? I ripped the bill open and read it. To my surprise, it said something about cancelling my credit card due to non-payment. What the hell? Eh. Uh, probably wouldn't want to. Oh my god. I'm becoming, uh... Orangehead McBeard just... What have you done? Old fashioned keyhole. Old timey. Let's go find that man from New York. Dial him up. I'll play the old free controller. Says, I found the last missing piece from my wallet. The old photo of Rachel and I stared back at me, reminding me of better times. It didn't make me feel terribly comfortable. Did I keep it anyway? Full set, mofo. Yep. Well, I just got trophies. So that was obviously the right thing to do. Our television. I had purchased it before I knew I was going to lose my job. I felt pretty guilty about it afterward, but by then it was too late. Uh, receipts? Uh, anything? Over there? Apparently not. Upstairs! Where's Rachel's corpse? Oh. Our hall... Our hallway mirror. It had been smashed. Its pieces scattered around the floor. Here's the thing. I'm not, uh, yeah. It's gonna sound like I'm criticizing however I put it. But Americans seem to not pronounce mirror with all of its letters. Whenever I hear it, it's always mirror. It's weird. It's like space station. Um, random thought, sorry. Our sink, which needed to be replaced. One of the tabs always stuck, but I hadn't got around to fixing it yet. R2, how are you? Bathtub. We were lucky enough to get a house with one of those wonderful old claw-footed bathtubs. Okay, I'm, I'm really glad something. Let's read this again. Re yes, let's read that mirror. I couldn't really make myself out anymore. I wasn't sure I wanted to. To whoever is phoning me at the moment, I apologize, I'm playing a horror game. I cannot answer right now. Um, please forgive me back in time. I, whatever. The books there were half mine, half Rachel's. Hey, now that I look more closely, it looked like the man in that house had had some of the same books as I did. I completely fucked up reading that one, didn't I? My wife, Rachel's suitcase was sitting on the bed. It was closed, but I had a feeling what was in it. Did I open it? Inside Rachel's suitcase were a few days worth of clothes, some personal effects, and a train ticket. As I stared at the ticket, I could feel myself flush with anger and resentment. The date and time matched the receipt I had found. Computer. My laptop had been left on, and only had a tiny bit of power left. On the screen was a website about the old water tower. There was a key in the top drawer of my desk. Did I take it? I pocketed the key. Ugh, the laptop was warm. It had been running for a while. Jenna's tube? Probably. Did I explore everything on the other floor? Did I... Nope. Uh, basement?
basement. Basement was the other one, wasn't it? Is that the basement? When did I get the key? I completely forget getting the key. What the hell? There were all Christmas decorations in the box. I couldn't even remember it last Christmas. The garbage bags were stuffed with old paint cans and supplies. There was a dirty old key here. Did I take the key? Did I question why everyone here throws keys out? No. I just kept shoveling trash into my pockets with willful abandon. I took the small key and tried to remember what I'd unlocked. There were old clothes, tools, and other things we obviously hadn't thrown out yet. We had way too much junk. Yeah, yet you throw away keys, you fucking idiot. I put up this divider last summer so we could create a separate room in the basement. I hadn't finished it yet, so the door was stuck and the drywall was poorly installed. I might have been able to break through if I found something heavy enough. A big, dense fucking head. How about that? Alright, so we need something heavy. Something heavy, something heavy. The grimy key I'd found in the basement unlocked the door. Might be something heavy in here. Looked like the room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did somebody break in here? Yeah, you, you probably. There was an old crowbar on the floor. Did I need to take the crowbar? Holy shit, I'm Gordon Freeman. Right then, okay, good. That was all that was for. Good, let's go bust in that door. To the basement. Da -la 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 -la. Did I break through the wall with a crowbar? Yes, it was my only option. I don't know why I had a third person monologue. Or first person. Or whatever. With a heave, I swung the crowbar at the wall. I smashed a hole large enough to step through. I left it embedded in a head crab. As I stepped through the broken wall, my breath caught in my throat. This was it. Was Rachel down there? Was she okay? I only just remembered the crawl space in that other building with a skeleton behind it. That was probably me. Christmas tree! Don't look. Not a Christmas tree. Oh, we've got like four. Jellyfish? Uh. A filthy looking pile of rags had been dumped in the corner. The stench of them was awful and made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what lay within. But I knew I had to. I'd come this far. After all this searching, after all I had seen, when I looked within the rags, did I finally find my Rachel? Wait, I'm deciding. What? Am I deciding that... If I say yes, am I saying I killed her for ch cheating on me? And if I say no, she should run away from me for being a bellend? What else could be down there? I'm going to say it probably is. I imagine I've been killing people for a while. And all those other deaths were me. I... Oh no. My hands trembled as I pulled back the layers of cloth. There at the center, under all the dirt and mess, was my beloved, my Rachel. Her arms were bruised and all over and slashed repeatedly. Her clothes were ripped and torn, and even through all the sickening blood, it was obvious she had been stabbed to death. The knife I had carried all this way suddenly seemed like a poison. What had happened, Rachel? Who did this to you? I thought about all I had seen and wondered if any of it could help me figure out who had done this. And when I couldn't stay there any longer, I stepped away on shaky legs and made my way back upstairs. Reluctantly, exhausted from my journey, I could no longer resist the urge to close my eyes. Pixelated shit happened. Grey blobs were everywhere. A trophy was had called Drink Grim Discovery. I had a pleasant nap. Maybe I would use some of... Why would you... It was my wallet with its contents intact. Either I dropped that stuff or somebody else did. Maybe I was sleepwalking again. Or maybe somebody stole it from me. Norman's store, that far as the watchtower. Was I at those places before? Holy shit, I'm deciding what happened. So if I'd have said no, what would have been down in that pile? And would Rachel have escaped? Ah, could I have left that knife somewhere? I don't know what's going on. 
I'll say I could have kept the gun earlier. Would that have... Yeah. I don't know what's happening. Uh, I think he did it. I didn't see how it could have happened any other way. I must have been a... Yeah, I must have been the one to lose my wallet and its contents. What does that mean? It means you've been killing people. Stuffing them in places. Probably you went apeshit after you lost your job. This was the old photo of that other man and his wife, I assumed. I found it in that house. I recalled those faded remains I'd found, deep underneath his house. What had he done there? Well, what did I think? Was that man involved in his whole mess somehow? Yes, and it was you. Definitely. Those tunnels, the odd tools in his house, and the remains of his wife. He wasn't innocent, that's for sure. One, I apologize for this stupid voice. Two, I, uh, I apologize for all the lip-licking noises that are probably going to have been picked up on here. I don't mean to have done it. But, uh, all this talking is making my mouth incredibly dry and I have no drink. What's this? It was the key card I found at the bottom of that factory locker. Never did bother to use it. Someone had been going through those lockers and poking around the plant. Still, it didn't quite add up. Was I the one who'd been going back to the factory? Yeah, it looked that way, didn't it? That locker room. I'd given up drinking, but... I never did use the thing. Yeah, my old office. They sat on the floor. I used to keep tax records and other important documents in it. It used a digital passcode lock, but I didn't have the code. Maybe I'd left it somewhere. I leafed through the notebook I'd taken from the forest. In it were the names that had been written down. Heather, Olivia, blah, 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 blah. I recalled the names I scratched out on that old desk, deep within those nasty tunnels. Or musty, Dan, because that's the word to say. Was the man in the house really up to something? Uh... <laughs> if anything, this video proves that I cannot read. It was a letter I had taken from the post box. Meh. Meh. Did he do that to Rachel? Mm, no. Norman may have betrayed me, but I didn't think he was capable of that. I hated him. I hated him so much, but I couldn't blame him for what had happened to my wife. Because I did it. Uh, I, I think that really... Yeah. You did it, and then you killed Norman. Or you killed Norman, then her. The order isn't really important. Uh. Alright. Let's go. Let's go basement. Ooh, ooh. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna see if I can find a passcode to that safe first. I've obviously missed it. Um. Oh, for goodness sake. No. Go in there. <sighs> um. Yes. Huh. I didn't know I dropped it. When did I do that? What can I do with that frick frackin' knife, exactly? Uh... Let's see if I can find out what to do, then splice you guys back in when I make any sort of progress and or decision. Okay, so... I just went back to the bathroom, and, uh, depressingly... found that he's offering to slash his wrists in the bath. Um, that's, uh, that's pretty grim. Eugh. Actually, I do lay the blame on you, but I'm not... Uh, okay, so I, I can go back and slash his wrists, or I can leave the house. 
Good brief game. Ah. Is that the front door? What about the knife I still carried? I wondered, even if I left, would it really be over? So, did I leave that house forever? Yes, because the alternative is slashing your wrist in a bathtub. Living in this town hadn't been easy. A plan that helped in some way to stay grounded. It kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that was when I had started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. I had MRIs and piles of doctor's reports, but nothing seemed to help. Not even drinking. But I swear I had tried to give it up. I know it. Sleepwalking never really went away, though. But I know Rachel had tried. I know she had tried to be there for me, even when everything was falling apart. This night had unearthed terrible truths, but I knew it was a final act of a long-standing horror I'd been living. Waking up in that house tonight was a final cruelty. I wish I'd remained unconscious in that room forever. It was obvious to me that the man I'd found in that house had something to do with all this. Could he have killed Rachel? It started to seem that there were too many things I'd seen to think otherwise. After making out of those tunnels, I thought those sewers might feel safer. I was wrong. The security tape I'd watched showed, showed someone being attacked by what looked like two people. But who was it that was attacked? I had found the contents of my wallet scattered throughout town. Why the hell had I been out there? my sleepwalking gone to some new extreme? The thought that I couldn't account for my whereabouts, but knew I had been to that forest. And even, no, uh, too much of a pause, I'd broken the pacing, ruined the exposition. Ugh. But I knew I'd been to that forest, and even Norman's place. Well, it was terrifying. I didn't know what that meant, but at least I'd recovered my things. Hopefully, I thought, that would cover my tracks, so I wouldn't be blamed for all this. Deep within those woods, though, was where things became truly awful. Finding that notebook only made things worse. Rachel's name had been on that list. So what terrible plot was she a part of? There was a similar list of names on that desk back in those tunnels. What was the connection? It was clear, at least, that I had been the one going back to that factory. I must have been sleepwalking or something. What the hell was I doing there? I'd given up drinking, hadn't I? So what was going on in that boarded up room? Suddenly my stomach started to turn. Was I responsible for that dead guard? After the factory, I thought I might find some solace if I could just get to Norman's store. But all I had found were more horrors more questions. Now that I really consider it, that's when I should have seen it coming. Norman, what were you and Rachel up to? It was obvious things were more complicated than I'd ever imagined. How long had you been going behind my back? More importantly, why, Norman? Whoever had killed Rachel had probably gone after you too. Maybe they knew about what you, what you were up to. I would never know peace, Norman, but despite your transgressions, a part of you, me really did hope that you would. When I had marched through the rain towards home, I desperately clung to the hope that this would end. And I guess in a way it did. But how could I have known how hopeless it all was? I had started to feel as disorientated as when I sleepwalked. To think of it now, I guess I should have known from the terrible silence that greeted me when I first stepped into our house and stood there in the kitchen. There was no sound of television, radio, even the air was still. But, but seeing Rachel there, lying, ruined and discarded in the basement, that was a horror I could never have imagined. I didn't know if I'd ever find out the answers I craved, but I knew that somehow that other man I'd found was responsible for this. If not directly, he must have had a hand in Rachel's death. So what was I doing in that damned house of his? Had I found out? Had I killed him? My damned condition made it difficult to know. Memories and time frames were always a mess, and I could never be sure. 
Knowing that man was dead, though, it was cold comfort. My wife was gone, and no matter what happened to me now, I was lost forever. As I swung open the door and stepped out into the air, I caught the scent of wet grass and fog. Rachel, my beautiful wife, just the thought of her again, cold and inert, shook me from head to toe. What would I do now? Who could I turn to? It would only be a matter of time before the police got involved, before the neighbors knew. The front lawn was soft and giving beneath my feet, and I couldn't shake the urge that I shouldn't stand there, or rather that I should run. Pat, 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 pat. Huh. That was, that was abrupt. I... So, the choices I took... Uh, the guy feels responsible, but is blaming the guy in the house. Is there an ultimate good ending? Home is dedicated to my wife Nancy. Watch your back. That's not at all weird. The end. Okay, is there an actual correct full ending? I need to have a look at this. Okay, I'm not really certain why it's giving me the option to continue. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, but I've had a search around. It seems it is definitely a multiple ending kind of thing. And depending on what things you pick up, what you do, your actions, and what answers you give, it will change what you get, uh, like who the murderer is, and whether people are real, or imaginations, and drunken hobo hallucinations, things like that. But, um, yeah, that was very strange. It was interesting. And uh, I like what they've done with the whole what you do dictates the narrative and the story at the end there and gets you different endings, because it will encourage people to play again and try and find out what's going on to try to see if there is a quote best ending I don't know whether I will go back through and play the others but uh, I'm definitely tempted to see if I can actually get a clearer look at what's going on I'm guessing by his leg injury and event things it was definitely him crawling around in there and I don't know finding the woman buried behind a wall in the other place and then finding his wife yeah uh, and the bookshelves in both places having similar things. I'm guessing the guy in the other house at the beginning is him. And he's gone ape shit and he's, I don't know. Killing people and walling them off is his forte, I assume. That's my take on it. I might be completely wrong or it might be open to interpretation. Or someone could possibly tell me what the hell I'm on about in the comments below. I don't really know. Hopefully, uh, this will have been entertaining for everyone out there. And it won't have annoyed you too much me doing that stupid voice. I hope it hasn't. If it has, I am sorry. But if you did enjoy this video, pop a like down below. Uh, share, comment, subscribe. Have a look at the description for playlist uh, links and links to my social media and things like that. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time. Ah, you know what I'm going to say by now. Toodaloo. This right here is not a thing that should exist in a universe that has physics. I don't even... I think I'm under the world. Oh, there we go. Do I pop back in? Nope. I cannot surface. Alright, there we go. Everything's fucked. Good to know.